this is the first row of China's homegrown passenger jet C919 abroad at the Changqi Exhibition Center. A second one was also brought to Singapore this time on the ground for a static show, even including the cockpit that contains nearly all the state-of-the-art technologies. The Wang'ai New Air Show kicked off this year with an order for 40 C919 plateau variants. So what's the plateau variant? And what's special about this order? Home to the world's highest plateau, China boasts the world's highest concentration of high plateau airports, with 23 in total, including the world's top 5. According to CAAC, airports located at an altitude of over 5,000 feet are called plateau airports, while those constructed at an altitude of over 8,000 feet are categorized as high plateau airports. While normal passenger jets are designed for standard conditions, the plateau variants are modified for the challenges posed by high-altitude environments, including reduced air density, complex terrain, changeable weather, etc. And therefore, the variants can largely expand the airline scope to the destinations that are previously hard to reach. Take Daocheng Yading Airport, the world's highest one as an example. Sitting at 4,411 meters above the sea level, it has been selected as a plateau flight testing airport for new types of airplanes ahead of their final delivery. On April 12, 2016, an A320neo, one of the most successful inventions in the Airbus family, landed in Daocheng for testing. In 2020, an ARJ-21, China's first independently developed short-media-range turbofine regional aircraft, also landed safely here, alleviating the public concerns about its performance on plateau. Two years later, C919 finished its maiden show at the Aba Hongyuan Airport, another high plateau airport in China's Sichuan, just less than a month before its first delivery to China Eastern Airlines. This was also the maiden show of a new competitor to the giant manufacturers Boeing and Airbus, whose plateau variants have been dominating the plateau market for too long. This is a map of the live air traffic in the world. The density of aircraft over the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau is significantly lower than in other areas. In Lhasa Gunga Airport, the busiest civil airport in this region, Boeing and Airbus almost share all the flights flying in and out. But who can break their monopoly? Here comes the game changer, C919's plateau variant. As introduced by Cormac, the C919 plateau variant can reach all high-altitude airports in China, making a firm step toward the break of Boeing and Airbus monopoly in narrow-body field.